Sylvia, it's really good to be with you today. I know you're one of our new members, and yet you've jumped right in and are serving in Stephen Ministry. What made you choose Stephen Ministry as your area for service? When I was in a church in Illinois, the first congregational church, United Church of Christ, they had a new program, a Stephen Ministry program, that was started. And I just knew it fit my personality. I am a quiet person, and the best thing I do is listen. The Stephen Ministry program is all about listening to those who need help. Well, now we all listen. What's different about the way a Stephen minister listens? The Stephen ministers are trained that there are different levels of listening. Uh, when they have a one-on-one -on -one with their care receiver, if they're doing all the talking, then they're not listening. We also train them not to give advice, and they're not allowed to judge their care receiver. The heightened listening that we do makes the care receiver understand how much we love them and that we're caring for them and that we will be with them as long as they want. Now twice you've mentioned training. What type of training do you go through to become a Stephen minister? When the people realize that there is a Stephen ministry program in the church, uh, we interview them if they're interested and they go for six months of training, which equals about 50 hours. They are then commissioned at the church and they then receive a care receiver. What do you like most about the Stephen Ministry program? What I really like the most about Stephen Ministry is that a lay person that is well trained develops a six to 12 month relationship with someone in need. Joe and I see people that have acute needs and we are able to minister there. Then our Stephen minister can often uh, step in if we make a referral and follow up and continue that relationship of trust and love. That is a relationship that Christ models and it's exactly what we want to do for our members in need. How would anyone know in our congregation that they need a Stephen minister, Mary? Well, it's usually when they're completely overwhelmed. They can't find the answer themselves. And they know they need help, someone to stand beside them, to pray with them, and to just be there if needed. You know, we may have some people like that in our congregation today. And if you do, all you have to do is see Joe or myself or Sylvia and let us know and we will make a referral and then she will be in contact with you and you will be placed with a Stephen minister that seems to match your need. I highly encourage this vital, wonderful ministry of the Greensboro First United Methodist Church. <laughs> 